Hey guys, it's Chris with the Late Night Lockpicker. Uh, today I wanted to bring you a quick video on this Guard Security Padlock. Um, a friend of mine bought it at um, Princess Auto, that is the Canadian version of Harbor Freight. Um, he thought it was a pretty good lock. He says it's solid steel. It's not a master lock, so he thought it would be pretty good. Um, he wanted me to try and pick it. I already picked it once at his house and showed him how horrible it was, so he gave it to me. I brought it home and tested it out. The body is definitely not hardened. Hardened. That's about two swipes with a file. And she cut right into it. Um, the shackle, on the other hand, does appear to be hardened, or at least case hardened. That is about 20 licks with a hacksaw and just scratched the surface. So I don't know. It's at least case hardened, I know that. Even with a brand new blade on my hacksaw, it didn't even didn't even cut through, it just scratched the surface. I'm going to be using a Peterson 50,000 pry bar that I bent and one of my homemade hooks. This is in 25 thousandths. Here's a quick look at the bidding on the key. It's not horrible. I've seen better and I've seen a lot worse. So let's see if we can get into her. I'm not going to bother putting this in the vise. Let's say I overset. I've already picked this once, and I noticed there's a few, few issues with it. But once we tear this apart, we'll see what they are. I have not gutted it yet. Straight to the back, and I can feel the, the issues that I'm thinking of already. open. That took a lot longer than it did last time, but that's the way of the beast. Once you get the camera on, things take a bit longer. Alright, let's tear this apart see what's going on. So like I said, he got it at uh, Princess Auto. That's our version of Harbor Freight. I think he said he paid $6 for this on sale. He said it, he thought it was a pretty good lock. Removable core. I do have the key. We can lock that back up. Let's see if I can do this without stabbing myself. like that. I definitely need to get one of those Huck lock disassembly kits that has a little clip remover that might come in handy. This one's meant for quick sets. Has a hard time getting them the clips off padlocks. As you can see. This complicates it even more trying to do it through the, the viewfinder on the camera. She did draw blood. I am bleeding. There we go. Finally. 
Alright, that's the, the pen tray up here. And the actuator. Turn it that way. Now, let's see what she's got. drop something. I believe that is one of the driver pins. I'm not sure what one. But there. What I felt was correct. There is only three pins in this lock. It's pinned for five, or drilled for five. There's five holes, but only three pins. The sixth hole is not all the way through. Now those pins look awful, awful small. There's some holes there, some large diameter. Standard, standard, standard. Let's check upstairs. Nothing, so that is the one that we dropped. Two. There's three. Three springs. So for some reason, this was sent this way from the factory. I don't know if the pins didn't match the keyway, didn't match the bidding, so they decided just to take those pins out and send it out the door anyways. Let's take a look at those pins. All standard. Nothing spectacular. I don't know. Actually, that one seems like it almost. It's kind of. There's a little lip there. It's like they tried to make it into a spool, but weren't very successful. So there it is. Right, the guard security padlock, not hardened. From Princess Auto, six dollars or nine dollars on sale. I think he said. Stay away from them. Garbage. Thanks.